Built in 1713, according to a board near the bar, the Saracen's Head claims to be the oldest pub in Bath, and it was this claim that persuaded me and the better half to visit for lunch during a recent trip to the city of Bath. With a busy afternoon planned, I ordered a tea and a coffee and was given a small cup of each and had to pay five pounds and five pence for the privilege. The tea wasn't served in a pot, it was in a bag in the cup and the coffee didn't even have a biscuit with it. This is the most expensive tea and coffee ever and whilst my better half was ready to drink up, walk out and find somewhere else to eat, I was determined to have lunch at the Saracen's Head. I had eaten at Green King pubs before and the food had always been good so I was confident the food at the Saracen's Head would be too. The menu was the typical pub grub menu with fish and chips, lasagna, hunter's chicken, pies, burgers and the like. The prices, whilst not cheap, weren't too bad and pretty much what I'd expect to pay. I hadn't had a burger for a while so I chose the cheese and bacon burger with seasoned fries and homemade coleslaw and I have to say that the seasoned fries were tasty however they weren't hot and were barely warm. The homemade coleslaw had very little, if any at all, mayo and it was simply a pile of chopped carrot, cabbage and onion. It was not only dry and difficult to swallow, but tasteless too. There was a lot of it, but this was no consolation. The burger patty wasn't too bad, and the nicest thing on the plate. It was well cooked, it was nice and moist, and it was tasty too. The cheese and bacon topping was tasteless. Whilst the cheese was plentiful, it was very salty and left a horrible aftertaste. The bacon was a measly single rasher that was undercooked and very floppy. The salad comprised rocket, two slices of gherkin, and a cherry tomato cut in half. I'm sure the menu said there was red onion, but I couldn't find it in my burger. Rocket has no place in a burger and is no substitute for lettuce as it is too strong. And the tomato should be a large, thin slice, not a tiny half dome. Removing the rocket left gherkin and tomato to eat with the burger. There was no relish, mayo, mustard or any other sauce in the burger. The burger bun was a dried out brioche that wasn't buttered and there was no relish or mayo, making it very difficult to swallow. The gherkins provided a little moisture, but not enough to make the bottom part of the bun moist enough to consume. Overall, I wasn't impressed with the Saracen's Head and I do feel cheated. The tea and coffee is well overpriced and a total rip-off. The food, whilst moderately priced, is very, very poor and, to be quite honest, inedible. My lunch was terrible and even the better half who will eat absolutely anything and never complain was less than happy with the jacket potato and beans she had. When I return to Bath, and I plan to real soon, the Saracen's Head is not going to be on the to-visit list.